Today in Higher Learning, when you're getting married and starting a family, it is important to be on track financially. For college students still paying off student loans, that means managing your loan debt and making sure it doesn't knock you off your career path or prevent you from buying a home. Here are some tips on how to effectively handle student loan debt is Peter Kerwin from the Rhode Island Higher Education Assistance Authority. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Ben. This is important for all the single people out there thinking of getting married. I'm single. I'm only taking applications from girls with a 720 credit score or higher. Good move. Right? Smart Good move, right? Now, if you have a lot of student loan debt coming out and you're getting into a relationship, what's, what's the best advice for trying well, look, to manage the, that? The first step is to know what your situation is, know what you owe. I mean, it sounds pretty basic, but you know, when you get out of school, the last thing you're thinking about is paying back those loans. Instead, you're thinking about, you know, the career, what's my next job going to be, yep. you know, where am I going to live, how am I going to live? You start getting those bills. a lot of times you're still on that path. You're still maybe in your late sure. 20s, your early 30s, your career you're juggling and whatnot. Yeah, so absolutely. This can be put on the back burner. You're saying right. don't let that happen. Exactly, because, I mean, the tendency is it's all too easy just to picture it in a corner and deal with it at some point later. But when that happens, you know, and then you let it get to a situation where the phone calls start coming, the harassing calls yep. saying you've got to pay these bills, you don't want to get into delinquency and default. That's the key to avoiding those kind of situations. So, I mean, the best thing you can do is just kind of organize the loans and know the situation. How many different loans do I have out there? How much do I actually owe? What are the terms of those loans? Are they federal loans, which tend to be a little more flexible, or are they private loans? And who's, who's servicing those loans, and what are the interest rates? When you know that information, it really helps you begin to organize everything. And to get that information, there's some good resources out there. There's an outfit called the National Student Loan Data S System, NSDLS.ed. Gov. You can go there, find your information, and that's a really great resource. Uh, it's important to know that starting off. My mom keeps telling me to ask you to write this stuff down for me <laughs> when we're done. So <laughs> off camera, I have off to Off camera, that. we'll take care of that. No problem. <laughs> now, you said acting early is very important, but what are some of the options, the payment options that students can make? Well, that's the thing. I mean, by knowing what the loans are, you can see, are, are, do some of them offer the opportunity for deferred payment? Do some of them offer the opportunity for forgiveness, where they actually forgive certain parts of the loan if you're going into different different career areas. Federal loans do that. We've uh -huh. talked about that before. Yep. For example, if you're going into public service or nursing, there are some federal loans which actually forgive the, the, the extent of the loan. So it's important to know whether any of those provisions are there. Um, the, the best thing you can do, too, is if you're getting into a situation where you've had trouble, there's a, every state has an ombudsman who is someone who helps student lenders, uh, student borrowers, deal with their lenders. And, and in Rhode Island, that's the Rhode Island Higher Ed Education okay. Assistance Authority. So Beautiful. you can contact us. There's also a great website site www.mappingyourfuture.org. That's a great resource for the information you need to kind of get things organized and to help make sure that, that loan problems don't blow up into full-blown disasters where your credit rating is yeah. being impacted. All important stuff, as always. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Peter. No problem. Guys, great advice. If you want more on managing your loans, just head over to foxprovidence.com.